Let's get straight to the breaking news out of Hollywood this morning. Yeah, Paul Walker, one of the stars of the enormously popular Fast and Furious movies, dead in a car crash. The accident scene tells the story. There it is. Walker was a passenger in a Porsche that collided with a pole and caught fire. The actor had been attending his charity event to benefit typhoon victims in the Philippines. We have team coverage this morning, starting with Cecilia Vega at the crash site in Santa Clarita, California. Cecilia, good morning. Dan, good morning to you. Just take a look at these fans who spent the night out here mourning the loss of Paul Walker. When this crash happened, the fire was so big, witnesses raced to put it out with fire extinguishers, but they simply could not. And now this, a crash site turned into a memorial. Overnight, it was a joyride that ended in this. LA-156 front, and we have one vehicle fully involved. We have confirmed two DUA. When rescue crews arrived, the twisted remains of the car seen here in this video obtained exclusively by ABC News still engulfed in flames. Two people dead in this call. One, one of them is Paul Walker from Fast and Furious. We heard the crash. We heard the explosion, and uh, we got up here as quick as we could to find out what it was. The crash left the mangled car unrecognizable. The red Porsche wrapped around a tree. According to Walker's friend Jim Torp, the passenger inside was actor Paul Walker and the driver, Walker's friend Roger Rodas. Both pronounced dead at the scene following what was supposed to be a quick spin. This was just a tragic accident that happened on a joyride. They were just taking the car for a drive. The two bodies removed by the coroner, that car placed on the back of a truck and driven away. Investigators say it appears the driver lost control before hitting this tree in a quiet business park. Paul wanted to go for a ride. He wanted to go for a ride in the car, so they went for a ride, and that was the last that we saw of them. The 40-year-old actor rose to fame behind the wheel of fast cars in street races in the blockbuster Fast and Furious movies. On Sunday, he attended his charity toy drive and car show to help victims of last month's typhoon in the Philippines. Walker's most recent film, Hours, a movie about Hurricane Katrina, is set for release in two weeks. This wasn't supposed to happen. As the investigation into what caused this goes on, this morning, so does the shock over the death of an actor famous for his love of cars on and off screen. And the sad irony of what happened out here is lost on no one. Hollywood is simply stunned. We've seen all night long tweets and reaction online from some of Hollywood's biggest stars. The person who was behind the wheel was a professional driver. But Bianca, why they crashed this morning, still under investigation. A life cut way too short. Cecilia, thanks to you. And Walker shot to fame as undercover cop Brian O'Connor in the hugely successful The Fast and the Furious movie series, which featured loads of wild chases and car crashes. He'd been in the middle of filming this seventh movie scheduled to be released next summer. ABC's Chris Connolly is in Los Angeles with more on his career. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Bianca. It was a career that began back in the 80s on television. Yet for the last 12 years, Paul Walker's name and his obvious on-screen appeal had been synonymous with the Fast and Furious movies. It's been a while since I've been behind the wheel of one of these. A mainstay of the Fast and Furious franchise. Paul Walker was a foot-to-the-floor phenomenon. Yeah. Starring as both sides of the law, That's Brian O'Connor. I'm not going anywhere. The adrenalized Fast and Furious effort, which put him in all kinds of speed thrill scenarios, became Walker's calling card in Hollywood. Perfect vehicle for his can-do charm and that appealing grin. Born in Glendale, California, the blonde, blue-eyed Walker modeled as a child, later turning up in the 80s on That's such it. sitcoms as Who's the Boss? Yeah, well, high school's no picnic either. And Charles in Charge. Right now, I don't like myself at all. On the big screen, he'd be seen in late 90s sad. movies like Varsity Blues. I was lying in bed last night. Before the Fast and Furious made him a star. How was that one? As news of his death spread Saturday night, Walker's friends and co-stars took to social media to pay tribute to his memory from an Instagram account said to belong to his longtime Fast and Furious co-star, Vin Diesel. Brother, I will miss you very much. I am absolutely speechless. Heaven has gained a new angel. Rest in peace. At the time of his death, Walker was raising funds for the charity Reach Out Worldwide. He leaves behind a daughter, Meadow, and millions of saddened fans. We both said that we were leaving the life behind. Paul Walker died on Saturday in a car accident in Santa Clarita, California. He was 40 years old.
Additional cause for sadness, Hollywood often finds interesting roles for its best-looking actors to play once they're middle-aged. It's sad to think we'll miss out on those sort of performances from Paul Walker, Dan. We will, and we should say that ABC News will continue to cover this story, especially as we await the results of the investigation. Chris, thank you.